So, I'm back to Starbucks. This is evidently a thing now for me. You know, they have a new drink. We have a new black and white holiday drink. So, I'm here to vlog it. You know, I'm here to let the people know. How does this taste? I'm at a more convenient drive through line, but not necessarily experience. Because this Starbucks shares a lot with a movie theater. And it can get a little messy. Just saying. I do have... Uh, Tommy, Mr. Wrestling with Disney, here with me today. Uh, he'll be he'll be trying the black and white cocoa. My sister will be trying the black and white mocha, and I'm gonna take one for the team with the uh, frappuccino. It's pretty cold in New York, but I said, you know, we're so close to getting a trio. Let me just do it. There it is, black and white mocha. <laughs> Hi, good. How are you? Good. What can I get for you? Can I get um a Black and white mocha, uh, medium. Medium black and white mocha. Anything else? Uh, can I get a medium? Do you have the black and white cocoa? The black and white hot chocolate. I yeah, do. I'll get that, and then I'll get the frappuccino too. The black and white frappuccino. And what size is the cocoa and the frappuccino? Uh, both grandes. Fifteen dollars for New Year's cheer, but that's the price it costs. Last time you might recall when I got my juniper latte, almost positive he said it was $43. Oh God, there's honking, there's honking. <laughs> oh, you might notice that as I went on, I adapted from mediums to grandes. I don't know the Starbucks sizes by heart, so that's why I opened with medium and then like, would it be weird to then switch? But at the very end, I switched. This Starbucks doubles as a polka stop, which, uh, Challenging for me, you know, am I am I gonna use my phone to film or am I gonna use it to catch Pokemon? It's like really two uh, strong loves competing for one another. But uh, seems like you won, but I'll be honest, every time I hit stop, I go catch those Pokemon. The babies are here. They're being safely transported. Mm -hmm. They're in their little car seats. Mm -hmm. Look, they've muzzled him. The baby's a home, it's a frappuccino, mm. it's a mocha, and it's a cocoa. Alright, I've made it to my mom's house. I planned this kind of poorly. Tommy and I just had the two for twenty-five at Chili's. Comes with dessert. Not really ready for a frappuccino, but you know, for science. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's trying the cocoa. Very what makes it different than a regular chocolate chip? Cho why, uh, hot chocolate? No, it, Nothing. <laughs> no, it, it, it could tastes be true. like a regular hot chocolate. It could be true. I'm going to try some as well and uh, vouch for this. Yeah. See here, nothing different than a regular hot chocolate, he says. <laughs> it's a regular hot chocolate. <laughs> Which, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Right? right? My sister is going to be trying the mocha for us today. And so I'm anxiously awaiting her input mm -hmm. on that. Here she goes. A full sip. Swallow and taste. Mm -hmm. Now this tastes like a hot chocolate. Really? May I, I, may I try? I don't taste the coffee. You tell me though. Let's see. It tastes good, but it, it doesn't taste like a mocha, really. I get, I do get the mocha taste and the, maybe I'm just used to like, yeah, I, I, uh -huh. it's definitely it's like if you want a caffeinated beverage, that's as cocoa as you're going to get, kind of mm -hmm. reminiscent of a Dunkachino perhaps. It's very sweet and very chocolatey. Um, and then I'm going to be trying the frap, which had this nice, it looked nice at the time for it oh, melted yeah, during the, uh, agree. Pokemon go and drive home. <laughs> It, just, it really just tastes like a chocolate shake. Does anyone here know what the black and white part of the black and white line is? No. Is it like for the, the dark chocolate and the whipped cream? Do all three of them have that? I should have looked this up. Be so right. I can tell the recipient of the mocha seems disappointed with theirs. The recipient of the hot chocolate is very consumed and delighted. And I'm pretty pleased too. If it were cooler out and I didn't just have a cookie skillet, I would probably like it yeah. a bit more. 
to clarify what my sister says about the black and white mocha is it feels more like a treat than a coffee, but maybe people want a treat and that's why they're going to Starbucks. This was $15 for the lot. She almost spit out her white mocha. <laughs> All right, this was $15. Tommy and I like to say, we'll take the lot, which is from Harry Potter. <laughs> When he meets Ron in the train, Ron can't afford the candy cart. So Harry has all this newfound wizard money, and he goes, we'll take the lot. So, like, whenever I want anything in excess, we go, we'll take the lot. So the lot, the line, the line drive of the Starbucks beverages, if you were to get grandes, uh, is $15, which is less than the grande juniper latte that allegedly cost me 43 from last video, if you recall. <laughs> My sister, Michelle, would like for me to do my Snape impression. <laughs> Specifically when he tells Tommy to make the bed. And, uh, uh, Tommy likes to refer to himself as... Dobby. Dobby. He mm. says I treat him like a, house, like a house elf <laughs> and that uh, I need to free Dobby. <laughs> Tommy is... Tommy is Dobby. <laughs> I just got scolded by my sister for having a husband who resonates with the slave in the movies. <laughs> Look, better Dobby than a Weasley, and that's all I'm going to say about it. Very pretty bowl. All right, guys, final takeaway. I'm with all my babies home from the hospital, and the... the Chocolate, the hot chocolate's almost totally gone. The white mocha has got three quarters in it. This does too, only because it's such a decadent dessert. You really got to give it some time. So judging by that, I would rate the black and white mocha cocoa number one. I would rate the mocha latte, my combining black two things, <laughs> black and white mocha number two. That's more so because I'm in New York and it is cold, making the frappuccino essentially useless and a frivolous purchase. So that's where I'm leaving off. Any other notes? If you like chocolate, you'll like it. If you um, like chocolate, you'll like it. The hot chocolate is good. The hot chocolate like is good. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope you liked this out of the ordinary video. Uh, warning, no tripod, right? There is clearly no tripod in this one, but uh, we're going to press on. And if you think we should free Dobby, please leave the hashtag below, free Dobby, and maybe I'll consider it.